In the previous video lectures, we said that immunoglobulins or antibodies are divided into five main classes. These are IgG, IgA, IgM, IgD, and IgE. The basis of this classification is the constant region of heavy chains. These regions are unique to each class. Each of these classes have distinct physical properties and biological effector functions. Now, we will discuss each antibody class. We will talk about their structure, concentration and half-life in serum, their important features and their mechanism of action. Let's begin with immunoglobulin G. Structurally, IgG antibody is made up of two gamma heavy chains and two light chains. These chains are held together by disulfide bonds. Each heavy chain has four domains, one variable domain at the end terminal and three constant domains. So, immunoglobulin G is a monomer. IgG is the most abundant antibody in the serum. It comprises of about 80 to 85% of the antibodies in the serum. This antibody is most commonly found in circulation and tissues. Besides blood, these are predominantly found in lymph fluid, cerebrospinal fluid and peritoneal fluid. Its half-life in serum is 23 days. By half-life we mean the time required for half of the antibodies to disappear. This is the longest half-life among antibody classes, and therefore, they are predominant in the serum. Because of its long half-life, immunoglobulin G provides long-term immunity. This class of antibodies in humans is divided into four subclasses, namely, IgG1, IgG2, IgG3 and IgG4. They are numbered in order of their abundance in the serum. So, among these, IgG1 is the most abundant subclass. These subclasses are 90 to 95% similar to each other. They vary in their heavy chain composition and the arrangement and number of disulfide bonds. Here, you can see the difference. These interchain disulfide bonds are arranged differently and the number of disulfide bonds vary at the hinge region. As you can see here, IgG3 has maximum number of disulfide bonds in the hinge region. In fact, the hinge region of IgG3 is the longest. Coming to the important properties of IgG antibodies, it is the only class of immunoglobulin that can pass through placenta. This property of IgG enables mother to transfer her immunity to the fetus. This is very important because immune system of a newborn is not fully developed. IgG antibodies from mother confers passive immunity to a fetus. Among the subclasses of IgG, except IgG2, all other are able to cross the placenta and enter the fetal circulation. IgG antibodies are able to enter tissue spaces. This is important. When there are any antigens present in tissue spaces, IgG antibodies coat them and speed up their uptake by phagocytic cells. IgG is an effective opsonizing antibody. IgG1 and IgG3 have high affinity to FC receptors or phagocytic cells. Thus, they increase the efficiency of phagocytosis. It is also effective in complement activation. These antibodies activate complement by classical pathway. It also contributes an antibody-dependent cell-mediated cytotoxicity. Lytic cells such as natural killer cells have FC gamma receptors on their surface that bind FC region of IgG antibodies. These antibodies neutralize toxins and viruses. It is an excellent neutralizing antibody.